able to negotiate agreements which is only limited uh, among political elites in the country and which has also been focused on power sharing and access to resources and not to deliver to the people. You can see the current government. What has it delivered to the people of South Sudan? Nothing. It is only sharing power. There is big, the big titles of president, uh, vice president, and minister, and advisor. But they are not delivering anything to, to the people. And the limited resources, much of it is being diverted to, to private pockets, is being stolen uh, through uh, corrupt projects like roads and things like that, or outright uh, looting of the state uh, through the so-called uh, contracts uh, where false uh, contracts that uh, say that they are delivering certain services and goods to the government, while in actual fact nothing is delivered to the government, and they just uh, take the resources and go and divide them. As you can see, this is taking the country down. That is where the call for all South Sudanese stakeholders to convene this round table. And the idea of round table is that we are all equal stakeholders. We are all uh, South Sudanese. As I said earlier, this is uh, arising from the fact that we, the present South Sudanese generations, alive today, we are the founding mothers and fathers of the new nation and the new state. It is our responsibility and historical task to build or lay the foundation of this new state and the foundation of building this new nation. That is our historical responsibility.